number of coronavirus cases continue to rise in South Africa, it is ever more important for the nation to keep pace with the need to detect the virus as it spreads through our communities. Testing labs use a method called qPCR to diagnose patients with the virus, but this is only one step in the process. To accurately and rapidly diagnose patients, labs need resources, equipment and expertise to deliver rapid and reliable results. With funding support from the South African Medical Research Council, two Diplomics Network labs in Cape Town and Durban are joining the national effort to screen and diagnose coronavirus infections. In Cape Town, the CPGR have been providing qPCR testing since late April, and they recently expanded their operations to reach 1,000 tests a day, with results often in 48 hours. What led the CPGR to First of all, think about doing COVID testing was in March early this year, uh, myself and a few of our senior members undertook a trip to Dubai and we started to see what effect this pandemic was having on the world. And because we knew we had the technology and the human resources to perform COVID testing, we decided that it was our social responsibility to play a role in testing at whichever level we can. When we dissected the COVID workflow and looked at what the bottlenecks were, the bottleneck was actually the sample, the initial sample preparation before extraction happens. This required both human intervention as well as more biosafety cabinets because only one individual can work in a cabinet at a time. So initially within a 12 hour day we could process 500 samples. So now with the Three additional biosafety cabinets we're looking at a process of 2,000 samples per day. With next generation sequencing instruments and a team of experts, CRISP in Durban has been tracking and tracing origins and outbreaks of the virus. Now they are also joining the national effort to use qPCR to test and diagnose patient samples. We have a group of postdoctoral researchers and PhD students that decided to stop the projects to donate all the time to help the national response. So far we have done thousands of qPCR results and we are now receiving samples every day from the NHLS. So the main thing that we want to achieve, yeah, it is to help the national response to COVID idea. This is the first pandemic in our lifetime and we hope that's the last one that we that, that we, we get to live through eh? and our our main objective is to help with clinical response with diagnostic response with genomic surveillance and big data analysis to help our country and our continent to try to control this pandemic to save lives in the coming weeks, the CPGR and CRISP will add 1,000 to 2,000 test results a day in support of South Africa's fight to manage the coronavirus pandemic.